Hey everyone, Erica here and I'm back today with another video for you. So today I decided to film this super easy, work appropriate, do it yourself Minnie Mouse costume. Let's go ahead and get on into it. So we're going to be starting with the hair today. I actually learned this from Charisma Star. I will leave her link down below. But what you're going to do is grab a comb and do your best to just do a clean part down the middle. Make sure you section off a chunk of your hair just so it's out of our way. And then taking some hairspray and a brush, I'm just going to smooth out all these edges and bumps and put my hair into a high pigtail. And once you've done the same thing to the other side, I'm going to take my teasing comb and give these pigtails some volume. With another elastic, you're going to loop your hair through as normal, but on the third one, you're only going to pull your ponytail through halfway to create this kind of half looking bun. I'm going to stick my fingers through the bun and pull the remaining hair all the way through. Then I will wrap it all the way around the elastic and secure it down with a bobby pin. To make it look like one of Minnie's ears, I tuck the hair down from behind and make sure the loop is touching my head and secure it down with the bobby pin on both sides. The end result should look something like this. So again, I'm just going to loop my hair through the ponytail twice and on the third time, I'm only going to pull it through halfway. From there, be sure you pull the excess hair through the bun. This is going to give the bun extra volume. And then we're just going to wrap the hair around again and secure it safely with the bobby pin. I'm going to pull the two corners down again to just make it look like a full Minnie Mouse ear and again just securing them with the bobby pin. I apologize if I sound a little nasally. I'm still trying to get over a cold that I've had for about a week now, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys in time for Halloween. Mess around with your hair a little bit until it's to your liking, but then we have one more thing. Be sure to add your favorite mini ears. Uh, here I have one of those little wire bandanas, but I'm going to go with the bow today. I ended up going with this red bow because I think it fits the outfit a little better. So I just clipped that in and now we have our Minnie Mouse hair. Moving on to makeup, I'm going to apply my Milani 2 and 1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I'm in the color 3 which is light beige. I'm applying this as I would normally because we are going for a glam Minnie Mouse today. Moving on to brows, I'm taking my Benefit Goop Proof Eyebrow Pencil in the shade number 4 and filling them in how I would normally. Next, taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm going to apply this as a base onto my lids and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Once that's nice and blended, I'm going to go over it with Max Blanc Matte Eyeshadow and after that I'm taking my Sigma E25 with the color Sora from Makeup Geek into the crease. Here I'm taking the shade Luna also from Makeup Geek and applying it to my brow bone as a highlight. Both of those shadows are from the Manny MUA collab palette with Makeup Geek. From there, I'm going to take my NYC liquid liner and give myself a fierce cat wing. Or I guess in this case, it would be a fierce mouse wing, right? Do mice have wings? Going back to my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, I'm just going to line my waterline with this. After that, I'm going to take this black Urban Decay pencil liner and go right underneath the white that we just laid down, running that right underneath our lash line to give us that animated look. After applying some generous coats of my Voluminous Mascara, I'm going to apply these Salon Perfect 615 lashes and cough really seductively. For concealer, I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer in the color 210 and I'm blending that out with an e.l.f. small stippling brush. And because Minnie Mouse never looks greasy or oily, we're going to set our concealer with our Airspun Loose Powder. Taking my Urban Decay Flushed Naked Palette, I'm going to use this as a bronzer, for blush, and for highlight. To achieve Minnie's perfect red pout, I'm first going to line my lips with MAC Lip Liner in red. And once I have a good outline, I'm going to fill them in using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in American Doll. 
Going back to my Urban Decay pencil eyeliner, I'm just going to outline and fill in a circle for my nose. Taking my spatula, I'm going to scoop out more milk product and taking my E11 brush from Sigma, I'm going to add some white lines to my nose and my lips to give our Minnie Mouse more of that animated effect. Once you've drawn your lines, this Minnie Mouse look is complete. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This look is perfect for you if you are going to work, if you are going to school, really anywhere. I really like the way it turned out and I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.